Hi, friends. Watch out. I'm very hungry. <laughs> ah! No! Gilroy, you can't do that. You have to stop. You are not being nice. My toy monster was doing it. Hum, hum, ah! hum. See? We just have to walk away from this. Bully goat! <gasps> Gilroy goat, put your toy down and come with me. Gilroy, you have to respect others and their toys, just like you want them to respect you. And you must control what you say and what you joke about. Listen, you don't want someone to be a meanie to you, and your friends don't want to play with you if you're acting like a meanie. Think about how they feel, Gilroy. You're right. I wasn't trying to be a meanie. You wanted your toy monster to pretend to eat Luna's doll. That's not right, Gilroy. Monsters can only chomp on sticks, not friends or their toys. <laughs> okay. <gasps> May I? <laughs> I'm sorry I acted mean. I was never trying to be mean. I guess my jokes weren't funny. And I'm sorry I scared you, Luna, and almost knocked you over. And taking your bow. That wasn't nice at all. Um, now can we just play? Nicely, and I'll be watching closely. Let's play tag. I'll be it. <laughs> And now, I'll draw one more name to see who else will swing first on the new swings. It has to be one of us. It has to. Gilroy Goat. <gasps> no lucky red pajamas. It doesn't make any sense. I'm wearing my lucky red pajamas and nothing's going right today at all. I just wanted to remind you all that Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Woohoo! There's no way I could forget that. I love Valentine's Day so much. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's the day to show everyone how much you care about them. Huh? <laughs> We're going to have a party here. And if you'd like to make a gift to give to each friend, you can hand them out at the party tomorrow. What kind of gift? Whatever kind you'd like. Be creative. Make it your own. <gasps> we can make masks and have a Valentine's masquerade party. Or put on a Valentine's parade and march all around the school. Or a Valentine's science fair. I think the gifts are supposed to be smaller, like a thing. All creative gift ideas are welcome. Have fun! I think we're going to have the most amazing Valentine's party ever! Welcome everyone to the annual boat float! I want to thank each and every one of you for making our pond clean again! This special event is possible because you all took the time and worked so hard! So I say... Let the boat float begin! Mine glows. Yours looks so cool. I'm so proud of you kids. You had a big idea and you made it happen. You did turn a mess into a success. They sure did. You guys rock. Thanks. I, I wonder what else we could clean up. Downtown or the woods. My little environmentalist. <gasps> Look. Let's hear it for the clean pond! Go clean pond! <laughs> My
my announcement is... Our Town Winter Festival will now include a snow sculpture contest, just for kids. This will be great! It's fun! It's awesome! <laughs> Zelda Zebra, so does that mean all kids have to be in the contest? And where is it? Good questions. Each one of you who chooses to be in the contest will have the chance to design and make a sculpture made out of snow. The contest is in the town park, and a winning sculpture will be chosen. Oh, yeah! yeah. Awesome. It's gonna be so cool. much fun! Zelda Zebra, who will choose the winner? Will you? Actually, they would like a kid, someone your age, to be the judge and pick the winner of the kid's sculpture contest. Oh, that's gonna be great. That's a good idea. The judge must be someone fair, who treats everyone the same and doesn't play favorites. Judges are always someone we can all trust. I think Llama Llama's fair, and I trust him. Llama yeah, Llama, yeah, 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 he's he's Me too! Llama Llama, will you be our snow sculpture contest judge? R really? Me? I... You can do it, Llama Llama! Llama. You're fair! Okay, here are the rules. The judge can't talk to friends about their sculptures before the contest. You can only see the sculptures at the park not before. And you must choose one winner. Can you do that, Llama Llama? I can. I'm pretty sure. Oh, <laughs> Why are you wearing that construction worker's hat, Ms. Zelda? This is called a hard hat. I'm wearing it because we're going to talk about our class's job day. Can we wear a hard hat on job day? <laughs> Not everyone. Now for part of tomorrow, each of you will be paired up with a grown-up while they do their job. You'll learn about their work and even help them. What fun! This is going to be great! Miss Zelda, do we get to choose what job we get for job day? Actually, I'll be choosing who each of you are paired with. But before tomorrow, I have an assignment. I want you to think about this. What if you were choosing a job for yourself? I think about this very often. Good, Euclid. Think about if you like to help others. And do you prefer to work alone at a job or in a group? I wonder if there's a job where I can ride my bike and eat pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to build rockets. I like swimming and skateboarding. So maybe I can be an underwater skateboarder. <laughs> very original, Nellie. I like it. I know I'd like a job as an artist. Is being a soccer player a job? It is. Well, you all have a lot of job possibilities to think about. I just know that tomorrow will be a super fun job day. What's next? Huh? <laughs> 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 Hi, kids. Hi, Zelda Zebra! Glorious weather, huh? Looks like you're having fun in the snow. Ooh, I see you've made a fort and built snow figures. Wanna play with us, Zelda Zebra? Thank you, but I have an appointment. I'll see you in school tomorrow, where I'll be making an exciting announcement. Ooh, exciting announcement? Whatever could it be? Please tell us! Is our class getting a swimming pool full of pumpkin pudding? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that idea, Llama Llama? <laughs> Are we getting a big hot air balloon to go on class trips in? Or a giant trampoline that will bounce us up to the moon? That would be almost scientifically impossible. The announcement is something... Mm -hmm. That I'll tell you tomorrow. See you in school. Have fun. I still hope it's the swimming pool filled with pudding. That would be so cool! And delicious. <laughs> Gather around, everyone. Miss Lenora, our librarian, is going to tell you all about our new class project. Your school is doing a Love to Read project. Each of you will be matched up to read to younger kids. Um, we'll be reading out loud? We get to read to little kids? Yay! That means we are the big kids now! That's right. 
Now you can share the joy of reading with younger kids. You're going to each get to choose your own books tomorrow when our class goes to the library. Oh, I can't wait to get all of them. Lenore will help you find the books you're interested in. What book are you going to read? Anything about skateboarding. I think I'll get a book about counting numbers. Or pirates. Or counting pirates? I'm going to find an art book with beautiful pictures, like this. What book do you want to read, Gilroy? I'm fine with reading any old book. Just not out loud. <laughs> <laughs>